Wam. It's your brother Malcolm. We're coming at you with another lesson in truth. Giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who are the true leaders of all Israel on earth today. And salutations to the Yachim out there, the confusion of faith brethren that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. All right. And to the Yaquaf that are listening to you, I say Shalom. Um, this is going to be a response to a response to a response. I did a video um, called. Uh, it was a response to uh, uh, bro Nathaniel. All right. And it was called he's coming soon. And it was a response to that. And uh, and I went into some of the history on. Uh, John Hycranus. And his relation to the Maccabees from the book of the Bible. Hence the reason why the so-called white man removed the Apocrypha, which means to be hit, sent away hidden, from the Bible. Because the, the Apocrypha reveals history that's actually in secular history. Um, all right. And it was, it was, you know, pretty informative. But it sparked the interest of the apostle, um, the head guy of GMS. And he did a video response, lamb backing off of it, called uh, Hycranus and the Forced Conversions on Idumians to Judaism. All right? Because these, these, these Amalekites, these fake Jewish people run around today, these are the same people from back at this time. Okay? And they've been... Claiming to be a part of our heritage for a very long time. All right. Um, a matter of fact, I'm going to go into the book of Esther to bring out a, a, a scripture as to, you know, one of those those times that it happened even before Hycranus. All right. Um, but Hycranus is the main person to actually make that to happen. OK. Um, and then the, the elder Yashawamba out of Dallas, um, he did a two part series called. Edom, Rome, Herod, Agrippa, uh, one and two, and answering Jesus is the word. All you Edomites, all your questions have been answered, okay? And as and as the brother, Elder Yashawamba said, you're so charged up high and mighty and proud on that Roman and Greek history until it's proven that they're the Edomites. Now you got a problem with it. You're trying to run away from it, Okay? And you can't do so. Um, I'm going to uh, read a couple scriptures. Okay. Uh, the first one is going to be in the book of Esther. All right. And this is Esther, the eighth chapter, verse 17. This says, and in every province and in every city, Whatsoever the king's commandment and his decree came, the Jews had joy and gladness, a feast of a good day, and many of the people of the land became Jews, for fear of the Jews fell upon them. So the, Yahweh had did such a great work that the nations around us began to follow our ways. Okay? It's, 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 it's really quite simple. That's exactly... Uh, uh, what happened? They began to follow um, our ways. Okay. Now I'm going to read a, a, a scripture from the book of Maccabees. This is uh, 1 Maccabees, the fourth chapter and the 61st voice, uh, verse. All right. And it reads... Uh, And they set up gar garrisons to keep it, to keep it, land fortified Bethra to preserve it, that the people might have a defense against Idumia. All right. So the Maccabees were fighting Idumians and Idumian is the Greek word for Edom. So of, so of the Idumians were Japhet, which they're not. Where's the history how Idumia became a power among the Greeks and the Romans? See, you Edomites, there is no history because that never happened because the because the Greeks and the Romans are Edomites. 
See, the history when they took over this right there in the first book of Maccabees, how the Grecians, how the Edomites uh, started calling, referring to themselves as Grecians and Romans. And, and then Idumia, they've been running from that title uh, Esau, Edom for a long time. So Idumia worked for a little bit, but that didn't work it. Then, then they, they were the Herodians, and then they became Jewish following the Talmud. This is 1 Maccabees 5 and 3. Then Judas fought, Judas fought against the children of Esau in Idumia. See, he fought against the children of Esau in Idumia because Idumia <laughs> and uh, Abertine because they besieged Israel and had gave them a great overthrow and abated their courage and took their spoils. All right. So, uh, matter of fact, let me jump to the verse 15 and said they of Ptolemus and of Tyrus and Zidon, more enemies of Israel and all Galilee of the Gentiles are assembled together against us to consume us. So it's always been us against everyone. All right. Nothing has changed. And that's what's happening now. We're bringing out this truth with all the historical evidence, with the scriptures and the prophecies all matching up, going into your own history and proving that what we're saying is true and what you're saying is a lie. For all you fake Christians out there and you Edomites, all right, and all you other heathens, like the pathetic uh, uh, Dr. Gene Kim, okay, we got your number two, okay, because nothing has changed from anything in the past, man. When you go to the book of... Uh, when you go to the book of uh, uh, um, Acts, the uh, 18th, uh, this is Acts 18, all right, 18 and 1 and verses 1 and 2. And it said, and after these, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth. Why? Because our people were scattered among the Grecians. They were Hellenized, all right? It's like where it says Gentiles, they, they, they purposely took the word Hellenist and Hellenista and removed it and put in, and put in a, a um, Gentile there because of the confusion over the word Gentile. All right. Uh, and then not teaching that there are two sets of Gentiles. There's a Gentiles that were Israelites that were in a Gentile state of mind. And then there was the natural Gentiles. All right. They don't teach that very important detail on purpose. All right. Uh, Acts uh, 18 and, and, and 1. And after these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born of Pontus, lately come from Italy. All right. So just because you came from Italy, it just told you it was a Jew came from Italy. Right. For all you Cornelius people, Cornelius was an Israelite. Okay. With his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had commanded all the Jews to depart from Rome and and came unto them. And when you go and look up the history of Claudius, all right, the Emperor of Rome, you found you will find out that the the Israelites were on the streets teaching, kind of like we do today. And they were they were kicked out of Rome for aggressive recruitment tactics. No, they were because they were bringing people back to our heritage. All right, and that's what we do. And in the eyes of Esau, Edom, they know the prophecies, and they know that means that it's over for them. All right. Hence the reason why they come against it, deny it, and fight it so hardly, even though we've we've done no physical harm to anyone. All right? It's all mental right now because it's true. And it's a threat to their to their uh their false uh uh their falsely established power structure. Yes, the 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 established uh power structure that's set up right now is illegally and falsely set up. And it's all based upon lies. And one of those main lies to get them into, into power because they got people to believe in the Bible and then they got people to believe that they were the Lord's chosen people when they're not. They're actually the enemies of the Lord. All right. This is our Romans uh, 16 and 3. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Hamashiach Yahawashai, okay, who have for my life laid down their own necks. We, we teach this with our necks on the line. Risking our lives and our freedom, the same as they did in the past. This is the books of the book of Acts all over again. Okay, all over again. The apostles and disciples were being put to death. The powers that be. You had Agrippa and, and, and the the Herodians who were um, in control over our people, 
and 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 half you know following the Talmud and then halfway following our prophecies. I mean our, our, our laws and commandments, and I do say halfway, okay. And and then now today those very same people are are, are doing it again. The same the same children of Amalek are saying that they're the children of the Lord. And and as they control most of the programs that keep us oppressed. As a matter of fact, the Amalekites, the the fake Jews today, were the ones who owned the uh, the, uh, the slave ships, which which uh, brought the so-called Negroes, and Latinos, and Native Americans, and carted them back and forth around the world in 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 the uh, in the slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade, man. Contrary to popular belief, Latinos and Native Americans were being put on slave ships and shipped out of here, as as the Negroes were being brought from from Europe and from and from Africa. As they were being brought from Europe, because they were the ruling class people in Europe at that time, at the fall of, of uh, Granada and, and Spain. Look it up. Portugal and Spain, when it fell, the ruling class people were Negroes, so-called Negroes, who were Israelites. So as they were bringing them from, from, from Europe and from Africa, the same ships were t that were coming here, they weren't leaving here empty. They were filling them up, same way trucks do now. A truck will drive across country, drop off a load, get loaded up before it drives back again. That's what they do. That's how they operate. All right. It doesn't make sense or money to let a, tr a truck drive across country uh, uh, empty. Esau makes no money that way. There's always a load going in one way or the other. Maybe not so much now because this place is failing. But let's get back on point. Um, verse 4. Um, Romans 16 and 4 who have for my life laid down their own necks unto whom not only I give thanks but also to all the churches of the Gentiles all right so you read that well after what I just explained to you to you if you can't figure that out then all right because he was going to Israelites all right to the Hellenist to the Hellenista and I haven't looked that word up but I'm willing to bet if you look it up it probably says one or the other all right. Likewise, greet the church. And here, here's, here's how, you know, likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute my beloved Ep Epinetus, the first fruits of Akala unto Hamashiach. Greet Mary, who bestowed much labor on us and salute Andronicus and Junia, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners. All right. Who are not among the apostles who also were in Hamashiach before me okay so and so who was in Hamashiach who was following the Hamashiach the Israelites man period okay just to add insult to injury um because I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that last I have a series of books here okay and it's called uh history of the Jews all right and there's um and there's I believe this there's, there's quite a few. I have uh volume two through four. Alright, and these books don't belong to me because if they did I would mark them all up. But you know, these are this is a very this is uh almost a couple thousand dollars worth of book which your brother donated to me just to uh which I've been sitting on for quite some time, but now it's the time. And I'm not even gonna go into them the way that I am later. Because I want to knock these out so I can return his brother's property to him. All right. But uh, we're just going to look at some of the content of what it's talking about. All right. So I'm going to grab my camera and flip it around. Okay. Let's, uh, how do we do that? Well, maybe I can't do that now that it's like that. Now that it's recording. So, Salakia, that won't work. So I'll just put it up to the camera as I read it. And, and you can pause it for yourself. Chapter 1. All right. The crowning point of the period of war with Antiochus. Uh, the Siege of Jerusalem. Treaty of Peace. The uh, Parthenian War. Hycranus joins Antiochus' successful campaigns of Hycranus against the Samaritans and the Idumeans. All right. The Idumeans forced to embrace Judaism. That's in the book, Who is Esau, Edom? It's also in the Apocrypha. Okay? In secular history. All right? Uh, it says, The destruction of the Samaritan temple at Gerzim 
and the capital of Samaria, internal affairs and parties, Pharisees, Sadducees, the rise of the Constitution, their doctrines, their relations to one another, the uh, Sanhedrin, uh, strained relations between Hycranus and the Pharisees, the death of Hycranus, which is the death of Hycranus is in the Apocrypha. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's read it. This is uh, Second Maccabees or First Maccabees, actually. The 16th chapter, which is the last chapter in the uh, first book of Maccabees. And uh, starting about from the uh, 11th to the 19th verse. Okay. And uh, I'll just get right to the point. It says, uh, I started 13 and it says, um, wherefore his heart being lifted up, he thought to get the country to himself and thereupon consulted deceitfully against Simon and his sons to destroy them. So this Edomite who had married his, his uh, daughter, all right, was trying to get it unto himself. Them damn Herodians, you know, going back to that Herodian line, which was brought out by the apostle, the uh, uh, um, apostle Tahar, elder apostle Tahar, the elder Yashawamba and myself. All right. We went into that history. Okay, and Yasha Wamba just like should get an Academy Award for the <laughs> video he put together. It was the amount of information was insane, man. You, there's no, you know, you just being willfully ignorant and just willfully just being just a liar if you try to deny all the information that was that was brought out in that video. Verse fourteen. Now Simon was visiting the cities, where in the country and the taking care of the good order, ordering of them. At which time he came down himself to Jericho with his sons, Matthias and Judas, Mattathias and Judas, and then the hundred and three score year. And that's exactly what it says in here when it gives you the time frame of his rulership. All right. You can't get around this, man. All right. <laughs> um, in the seventh year, in the eleventh month, called Sabbat, and when the son of uh, Abbas received them deceitfully into a little hole called Dachis, which had which he had built, made a great banquet, howbeit he had hid men there. So when Simon and his sons were drunk largely, Ptolemy and his men rose up and took their weapons and came upon Simon into the banquet place and slew him and his two sons and certain of his servants. All right. So that was the end of John Hycranius. All right. And that's written in the Apocrypha right there in biblical history, which, by the way, is the most accurate history book that exists on the earth today. All right, back into the uh, history of the Jews, part two. And there's another thing. They're not, these these Jewish people will tell you about the Herodians and all that, but they won't break down the fact that they were Edomites. And so since they will call themselves Jewish, they just jump right into the Jewish categories if it's talking about them too. But it's not, all right? Uh, chapter two, Hycranius successor, Aristobulus. <laughs> The same dude who 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 had him killed, who married the daughter, the, uh, the daughter, the uh, the granddaughter of of uh, Judas Maccabees, or the grandniece actually, um, Alexander, Janius, and Solomon, and Salome Alexandra, the character Aristobulus Antigius, uh, mythical account of his death, Alexander Janus, his character enterprise, the support of the Pharisees, Simon Ben Shetek, Alexander's breach with the Pharisees. And the consequence, his his last wars and death, because you got to remember, he had a whole bunch of Pharisees uh, put to death, about 40 of them. That's written also in the Maccabees, man. OK, uh, the, the Sanhedrin, which is which is the 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 the, the Talmud. All right. Judah ben Taba, Simon ben Shatak, institutions, institutions against the Sadducees, party hatred, uh, persecution and Saudi and, and of the Sadducees. Death of Alexandra. So you have to understand. You have this war going on politically for control over Israel between the Sadducees, the 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 uh, the, the Pharisees, and the, the the Talmudist Jewish people. All right, and the job and being that the Talmudist Jewish people had the Roman Empire behind them because they were were well, Edomites. How do you think they got dominion over everything? All right. Hey, so with that, you know, I just wanted to lamb back. Let me, as a matter of fact, let me put this to the camera, all right, just so you can 
pause and read some of this stuff for yourself. You can pause that. Screenshot it. Okay. Screenshot this info. Okay. And repost it in videos. Because we have to expose these Edomites to be the lion devils that they are. We are at war, brothers. We are at war. All right. They're trying to, they've already taken our heritage from us once. And now they're trying to take it again so that they can stay in power, man. No. No, it's not going to happen. All right. So we, I'm going to go into this book, man. And stay in this apocrypha. Reread this, the, the Maccabees and stay in this book. So that I can uh, freeze, you know, screenshot it. Because we about to light them up, man. Okay. You Edomites messed up when you opened your damn mouth and came against the prophets of GMS, man. You should have just kept your mouth shut. And with that, I say all praises, glory, and honor be unto you. How about you, Shai, and Shalom.